Hey all, this is Chris Gerald with Everyday VBA. In this video, we're going to be looking at a um, application called Nime. Um, this is an application that I'm actually starting to really, 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 really love. Um, and specifically, I really love it because a lot of times we're asked to do VBA projects um, and those VBA projects um, end up morphing on us. Uh, so it makes it very difficult to go in and build extra code, which is honestly just not that much fun. So I'm going to show you this tool. Now this tool is free which is awesome. Uh, it's pretty easy to get to. You just do a uh, Nime. You can just do a Google search on the Nime downloads and it's going to take you to this page and get it downloaded. Now you'll notice it looks pretty similar to uh, a VB, the, the back end of the VBE or the IDE for uh, VBA um, uh, with some, some slight changes. Uh, and, and we'll just go through those. But the beauty of this is there's some really amazing examples here on how to do some stuff that we do in VBA all the time. And so uh, what we're going to be looking at in this video is we're going to be basically clicking on these examples which are on the server and we're going to look at some data access. The first one we're going to look at, um, these are all common file types. So the first one we're going to look at is read all the sheets from an Excel file in a loop. So we're going to open that bad boy up and you'll notice that these come pre-populated with the raw data which is um, to be honest makes it really easy, really easy for me to do these videos which is awesome so each one of these little guys is a node uh, these nodes live over here the easiest way to find these is like i want to do uh, something in excel so i type in excel and it's going to give me my options i can read the excel um, i can read the excel sheet names i can read the sheet uh, i can append a sheet or i can write to a sheet so these are read or write i mean there's lots of stuff in here like there's a, a group group is one that i use a lot um, you can group by or ungroup by um, but there's there's quite a few different ways to get around that and then you also have this one right here that's essentially kind of a coach that says hey what are these um, and the other beauty here is if I click on any of these options um, it gives me a node description over here so if I want file reader oh here's all my details on that which essentially is kind of like um, in the object browser uh, in VBA all right back to the show so we've got read the excel file so we've got the excel file um, essentially it's really you just basically browse to that excel file that's all the options you have um, nine does has have this uh, piece called flow variables which are really useful which you will understand here shortly um, but most of these nodes uh, essentially the, pro the way the process works is you would click configure um, and then there's going to be a window that pops up and you can configure that as needed and then typically what I do is I just execute it and then once I've executed I actually look at the data because I want to see what it looks like okay um, so this as you can tell reads the Excel sheet names um, so in this sheet if we were to actually go and open this bad boy up we would see two different sheet names and the sheet names would be iris1 and iris2 all right so that's great well yay we have we have those well what we want to do is we want to do a table row variable loop to start so essentially we are feeding it feeding this some data we're going to hit configure on this we are feeding it data and we are feeding it this variable information um, and essentially these are these little loops are uh, essentially like putting a for loop in so it's going to go through each each of these uh, sheets and then what we're going to do is we're going to pass each one of those sheets into the Excel reader uh, and we have to make a little tweak here um, which essentially is we've got to put a flow variable in here um, and again if you remember your sheets are right here and I'm going kind of quick so here's your sheet this is your flow variable it is flowing from here into this loop. The loop is going to start and kick through each sheet. We're going to pass that sheet to the Excel reader. That Excel reader, because we're, we're going to go through each sheet, we're going to pass that and it's going to go one, one through each one. And then every loop uh, within NIME, you have to have a start and an end. So that is what happens here. You can execute this. It's not going to do a whole lot. It's going to basically turn green. It's not going to give you a whole lot because there's not a whole lot to do. You can click execute here and it's going to run the first sheet or first flow variable. Um, the best part here is just click execute, run the whole thing. And you will see if we look at this, the collected results. 
it will give us all of the data from those two different sheets. Um, and you can actually see within your row variables here, um, zero being the first sheet, so it pulled it from all of them. And then we get to row zero for one and it pulls them all in there. Now, uh, the beauty of this is you've got this structure built. Now you can do whatever you want. You can push it places, you can sort the data, you can group the data, but now you have all that data in a single, um, in a single module, and um, if we wanted to add a piece where we could just go Excel, you gotta spell Excel right, you would say Excel Appender, um, and then we would essentially put, configure this, point it to what we want, tell it what we want down here, click Execute, and we are off and running. So the beauty of this is we don't have to rewrite code. We don't have to have a personal workbook that has that code. Um, and it does make it very, very, very nice to loop through large sheets. In the next couple of videos, we're going to show how you can actually take um, data sets that have a category and basically bust those out into different sheets. There's just a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with this tool. So I hope this is helpful. I hope this helps you on your uh, automating your world, making it a little easier, a little better. Hope you enjoyed.